Hey there YouTube, this is Dan Strong with Excel VBA is Fun. Today in this lesson we're going to talk about how to use a user form and yet still be able to click in the background on your worksheets or change work uh, worksheet tabs or the normal functions that you need to be able to click on but when a user form is up typically you can't click on them. So here's how to do it. Super simple. To get started, let's hit Alt F11 to get into our Visual Basic Editor mode here. And what I want to do is show you, it's not necessarily anything that you do to the user form, it's what you do uh, when you prompt the user form. In the example that we've been using, we've been using a picture that we've slapped here. We actually copied and pasted from Microsoft Word using Word Art, and then we put a nice little picture art here thing. And then what we did is we assigned a macro to this image here. So when we click here to open, it runs whatever that macro happens to be. And in fact, we can find out. Let's go to the del developer tab and go into design mode. And I'm going to right click here and that kind of selects it. And we'll click on maybe assign macro and see which one is already assigned. Looks like there's one called open hide form. So let's dig that one up. I'm going to hit cancel here. So this is open hide form. Hitting Alt F11, I want to find the one called open hide form. So I'm just going to randomly click on one of these modules, probably in module six. Here it is. Okay. So <clears throat> the the code to open that form, the form name is hide form that we gave it, and we do hide form dot show. Now, if you want to open it in a, I think it's called a non modal non-modal form, you hit space and it shows uh, dot show normally by default is in a modal and if you, if you say um, false you just hit space and type false then that would be what's called non-modal and I don't know the technical meaning behind non-modal and you'll have to forgive me for that but I do know that if you do a dot show and then you hit a space and you type false that it'll open it in that mode and let's try that now whenever we click on this button it, it brings up the procedure the sub called open hide form and all that open hide form has is this one liner here that says this form dot show and now it says dot fault or space false so the difference is uh, now whenever it opens this form I am actually able to click here on a cell. I'm able to go into design mode or uh, change the font size of something or even click on a different, <coughs> click on the database that it reads from, things like this. There's uh, reasons, there's times and instances when you don't want people to be able to click on the background. You want them to finish up with their form, whatever functions or reports that they need to run or, or tasks that need to be done using the form. And then whenever it runs, it will automatically hide or unload that form and close it down. And there are other times when you want people to be able to click on the background and type in something in the background and yet still have this form over here or, you know, or wherever it is. Uh, so there's a use for that. So I'm going to show you that one more time um, without the word false. By, by default, uh, you, if you just hide, hide form dot show, here's what happens. You click there, and you probably can't hear this, but it's going ding, 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 saying, no, you can't click anywhere. I'm clicking like crazy. You probably can't see that, but can't click it. But if you put dot, uh, space false, you click there you're able to select rows you're able to select cells name things anything that you can normally do this is called a non-modal uh, and there's some consequences to that not really much um, <clears throat> let's see uh, something there's some um, I haven't done this in a while but I know that uh, sometimes whenever you will uh, have a code that will tell this one to unload sometimes it can uh, it can have issues. It won't want to do. Um, I'll have to think about that and get back to you guys. But um, really, it's not a big deal. Uh, you may want to do this if you want to let your users click around and select stuff. You don't want to get them stuck in a bind uh, where they have to do finish up in the user form before they, you know, may, say they filled out all this stuff and uh, and then they can't save it or they can't go through with it because they needed to trim something up on one of the worksheets then the false mode might be better for them. So think about that. 
but it's really useful. So thanks for watching. We'll show you some more stuff in our next video.